Hi everybody, um, my name is Emily and tonight I'm going to talk to you about what the Access to Justice group has been up to. So first of all, this is you know just a quick snapshot of who we are and this is not all inclusive. This is the people whose names I recognize from the Slack channel. But I would like to point out that Coolsome's name is in the center there and it's there for a very specific reason. We wouldn't be here doing any of this if she was not guiding us and informing us all, all along the way. But what we are working on right now, like Eureka mentioned, are some projects centered around reentry and recidivism. And I don't want to be stereotypical, but when you look at me, I am not the type of person you would think has a lot of experience with the reentry, prison, recidivism arena. And I'm not, which is why I'm really thankful that I've been working in this group, because I have learned so much about all of the different issues that there are. Uh, several of them are listed up here. And one of the things, so there's people like me, there's other people like me who don't know anything about this issue. How on earth can we help? What can we do about the problem? What we can do is collaborate. So we have been going out in the community because like Kathy mentioned, there are lots of inclusion issues at Hack Night, especially for people that are completely unfamiliar with this type of envir environment. So we've been going out into the community. We've been having people come here and meet with us. Uh, people have attended reentry fairs and uh, reentry circles to get more information and meet with people who are actually living through this. We went to St. Leonard's Ministry and took a tour and met with uh, the wonderful people managing that uh, facility and also had a fantastic discussion with people who actually have lived through this entire process and have come out on the other side better for it. We're also working with the Environmental Justice Project to uh, webify, their, which I know is not a real word, their re-entry guide. Right now, it's a PDF that's online. And we met with them in person. We've been trying to figure out the, the best audience for them based on um, information from them. And we've been using all of our meetings to inform a decision about putting information on this guide online. Like, what will be important to people? Who will use this? How will they be able to use it? And our next and future steps are to continue helping and supporting pre-existing projects, like the uh, our Education Justice Project. There's this another, uh, another website out there, reentryillinois.net, that is really outdated. And we're trying to work with those people to update that also. Uh, one of the plans is to, uh, some, at some point, host a reentry and recidivism hackathon, and then also do some uh, public art, and definitely community education forums. And we're always welcoming new people. This is definitely one of those breakout groups that anyone can join. You don't need to be super technical, because most of us aren't. So come hang out with us. Thank you. <laughs> 